Hi, my name is Casey. I'm just waking up from a nap. Not so long ago, I mean, it's been like an hour at this point. I ate dinner and I've watched 58 minutes and 33 seconds of Mortal Kombat 2021. And now I'm here. Hi. Taking multiple sips of a fizzy carbonated drink is a battle for someone stronger than, much stronger than I am. If you don't know, I took the past two weekends off. Today's Saturday. This is one out of two weekends that I've taken off from work. So I spent a lot of time, this weekend more specifically, but I spent a lot of time reflecting kind of on my growth and where I've come from and that like I've gathered my journals and I've gone back and reread some of them that I've known were very, not pivotal, but eventful times of my life. Through that, I've come across a lot of good writings and I came across something that I received in a dream, unironically. Your dream space is somewhere that you can find a lot of guidance from. Your access to your highest self and your subconscious, your deepest desires and your inner knowing a very common space where you will receive guidance is through your dream space and for me that is very that is the truth i came across a message about magic the idea of magic happening in one's life in this uh dream in this space i was told that magic is simply the alignment of your mind body and soul when you look at somebody and you see kind of the history of where they how they were and you see them now and it almost looks as if they had overnight success or they accumulated some of their dreams in secrecy to make it into their present reality it appears as magic to the ignorant right to somebody who doesn't really know what is going on the work that they're putting on behind the scenes when you are aligned with your deepest like with what you want what you actually want from your heart your magic is gonna unfold magic is common sense I think obviously the term magic you're just gonna cross it through, through your ears and it's gonna sound some, like some hoo-ha business it's a lot more simple I'm sure the journey is not as simple and it might be hard and depending on how complex your dreams are and kind of how unorthodox and such they seem sure it's not easy but we're all magicians it's just a matter of people ignoring their inner calling the inner knowing of who they're meant to be in this world what role they're supposed to fulfill their purpose I think that we have many purposes in this life I think an example of a human's purpose is to be kind to one another and uplift one another I feel that that is a collective purpose that serves all of humanity but when you embody that person that you envision yourself and you create the change that you want to see on your behalf on your terms rather than following social norms rather than following the plan that your parents might have set out for you rather than listening to any outside um, opinions and kind of criticism as well because obviously if you see yourself shining if you see yourself in a high light there are going to be people who want to bring you down but if you block all of that out and you really focus hone in on where you see yourself the magic is going to unfold and it's going to appear like magic but really you are just listening to your inner self you are aware of your wants and your needs and your desires you're aware of your future you know what you want essentially there is so much power in seeing your life as a canvas almost or really it is it's almost like a blank canvas on adobe illustrator and you are taking that pen tool and you are gradually setting point by point and each point that you mark you're creating a bigger picture to create what you envision in your head you're bringing your vision to life and that is you being the master of your own destiny because yes the universe got your higher self you know this is how you might be receiving guidance and you might be receiving love and support along your path depending on your circumstance but in in actuality you are the only one that could put action towards your growth put action towards your plan that is something to be proud of and that is something to honor and to trust in because God wants you to trust yourself as much as you trust him and keeping faith as your plan unfolds as you're taking each step is doing your part you are designing your own life and that is the magic simply that's magic being common sense of course it's not going to be such a linear adventure and it's going to seem almost as if you're not there it's going to seem as if you piking for the gemstones in a big ass cave it's going to seem like you're not there's no hope there might not be any purpose it's going to seem like that but i promise you you keep drilling your little I don't know what this is called, the sharp thing that you mine with. The further you go, there's a gem. There's a meme that has literally changed my life. I'm sure I could find it. I will put it up on the screen. This is you, and this could have been you if you had given up. The journey of getting to where you see yourself in any terms, whether it's simply getting out of a toxic home environment, it's going to seem like you're... 
you're going on a downward spiral, but it's important to remember that spiral is upwards. It only goes upwards. So it's gonna seem like you're going in cycles. You're gonna have moments where you're like, damn, I am, uh, this space feels familiar. I feel like I'm repeating a cycle, but it's in reality an upward spiral. You're not starting from ground zero. You've already started from ground zero and you've gotten to like a higher level. Though it might seem like you're starting over, you've already accumulated growth, knowledge, awareness, wisdom. Um, you've learned lessons along the way. It's important to trust your instincts in terms of creative ideas it's important to trust that even if you have this idea and you're not too sure about how it's gonna unfold how it can match up with what you have going on right now if you acknowledge it and honor the idea as it arrives I can almost confidently say when you have an idea that is corresponding to what idea one was even if it's months down the road, idea one is going to pump back into your head and it's going to pair up with idea two ever so beautifully and you're going to be very happy that you acknowledge the idea rather than just being like, oh, I can't do anything with that right now. Such a good concept, but what am I going to do with that right now? Write it somewhere. Put your idea out on paper. Put it in your notes app. Start where you can. If you start now on that idea and even if the starting now is writing it out, you've crossed step one out of it. You've taken the moment to acknowledge your creative idea is access fertilizer to where and what it can be in the future down the road one of the biggest parts in the creative process is speaking life into your ideas your role in this magic you want to watch the magic unfold your role is to show up I know that when you become trust me I know it's easy for us to look too far into that to the future and kind of seeing where it could be where it could go where these ideas can bring you if you are a big thinker you're a bigger picture thinker it's really easy to to kind of have the picture mapped out in your head and look as far as the final step allows you to but your role is to just show up god the universe your higher self it will take care of the details that part is not for us to be aware of quite frankly and imagine you had known all the details of how your life would unfold wouldn't it be so boring it's very special to kind of have these surprises and even circumstances that challenge you unexpectedly like sure it puts a damper on your journey it could at least but again there's a lot of wisdom you can find within those spaces those small efforts and small motions forward not go unnoticed and the sooner you start you start when you have the idea watch as the world around you as you know it kind of alchemizes any circumstance that does not match up to that vision you have and that's when the magic starts to unfold my point is when you have when you're so set on how you see your future and you're taking action towards those goals you're making small but notable motion the world will cater to that vision in your favor because the law of attraction is real there's a lot of content on youtube that kind of speaks on it and i think sometimes the way they format it can kind of sound intimidating but it's really as simple as listening to your inner self listening to that inner calling what hobby passion or idea is pulling on you when you're going to sleep at night where is your mind going you're like damn i really want to start doing this start there well, even if that's not something you plan on doing long term these are all stepping stones to get you to where you can kind of create stability and almost have it as like a stable platform on how you see yourself in the future long term it's really as simple as that one step on the stair brings you to the next step on the stair and the next step on the stair and soon you're gonna be at the top and look back and be like wow I'm actually living the dream life that I've always envisioned myself living and it's bittersweet it's not even bittersweet it's so sweet to look back and be like bitch we did that girl we did that teenage you is very proud of you even for having these con creative concepts my camera's gonna pass away um i hope that i've gotten kind of the message across of what i was trying to say about magic being common sense and it not being as complicated as somebody on youtube or content creator might make it the word magic of course movies and um harry potter zap you know what i mean there are deeper levels to this but in order to kind of manifest your dream life that's what it is go within and find out what is calling you that is how you find what matters most to you and how you can take steps to becoming that dream person that you so, ever so envision yourself as magic is common sense mind body soul alignment 333